Police are asking for your help tonight to find a West Michigan man who went missing more than three years ago. Derek Hannigan was last seen in 2008 in the UP. He was from Hartford, and police say he was trying to get a ride back home the day that he disappeared. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson spoke to Hannigan's mom today, and Danny joins us now with the story. Sue, so, since we first brought you this story at 6 o'clock today, I've gotten a chance to speak to the Michigan State Police Detective in charge of Derek Hennigan's case. He says they're trying to find out if Hennigan ever made it back to Hartford back in August 2008. When I spoke to Derek's mom today, she says she's sure he never made it back home and now likely never will. I just love this. The only time Betty Hennigan sees her son Derek now is in pictures and in the face of her grandson. I just don't know how families go through this for years because this has been the hardest three years of my life. She says at this point, it's been three years since he disappeared, she's given up hope he might come home safe and sound. He's gone. I, uh, my mother knows. I just know he would have called his little boy or he'd have got a hold of me somehow. And the Michigan State Police tend to agree. 35-year-old Derek Hennigan was last seen leaving a friend's house in August 2008. His mom told us he had moved to the UP to live with his girlfriend. Yeah. Just a few days before he was reported missing, he called several people back in Hartford, asking all of them for a ride back down south. No one in West Michigan has heard from him since. I want who done this to my son arrested, and I want to bring his remains home, buried properly. He wasn't a bag of trash, and someone just threw him out like one. Michigan State Police officials investigating the case say Hennigan is still technically a missing person, but they are treating this case just as seriously as if it was a homicide. The detective in charge of the case says the likelihood of Derek Hennigan being alive at this point is none, something his mom says she figured out three years ago. We've got to have closure, and he's got to, we got to have we got to have it, and, and we need the peace, and he needs to be brought home and put, put at rest. But when I have those days I don't want to do it, I look at that picture and it's, go, Mom, go. And that's what keeps me going. Police do have several people of interest in this case. One person they're looking into, actually, is Austin Bradley Austin. He's the Hartford man accused of killing his girlfriend and burying her in his yard. Hennigan and Austin were friends. Police are also looking at several other people that saw him immediately before he disappeared. But now, most importantly, police are looking for your help, and we have all of that information about how you can contact them on our website, woodtv.com.